Chris Norris from Korg USA here. In this video, we'll be talking about factory resets and updates for the GEC5 software. I'll be using the Mac app, but if you're using the software on PC, Android, or iOS, just know that the layout, functionality, and design of the app is identical. From time to time, the GEC5 software and firmware may need to be updated. On the bottom left of the GEC5 app welcome screen, you'll see a button labeled About. If you see an exclamation point in parentheses next to the About button, this indicates that there is an update needed. When you click the About button, you'll see some technical data related to this version of the app and the version of the firmware you're currently running. If an update is needed, you'll see a Perform Firmware Update button. Simply click this button, then wait for the progress bar to reach 100%, which should take under 30 seconds. Then follow the instructions on screen. You'll then turn the GEC5 teacher unit off and back on again and close and restart the app. Once that's completed, your firmware will be up to date. Just be sure to check the About screen again and make sure that the exclamation point alert is gone and you receive a message saying the firmware is up to date. On the left side of the About screen is a factory reset button. Pressing this will cause the app and the GEC to return to its original state and all teachers, classes, students, group presets, and data will be deleted. This could come in handy if you'd like to start the software over from scratch at the beginning of a semester, but it's rare that you'd need to use this feature at any other time. On the PC or Mac application, you'll also see Database Restore and Database Backup. These can be used to save all teacher and class data onto your hard drive for use later. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, you can contact us at korg.com/education.